Hey guys, so today I will be showing you all some new launches by Dress My Craft and this time they have come up with their own punches which is super versatile and super fabulous. They come in a very pretty packaging and the quality of the plastic is really good. The punches are as smooth as butter and you will see uh, in the following video that how I am using it. So this punch can basically cut three sizes of banners, uh, two and a half inch, two inch and one and a half inch. The grooves are perfectly made and they fit to the measurement and you will see that I will be struggling with this particular paper because it was a little bigger. So when you cut the sheet, make sure it is exactly the size which is which has been asked in the punch guide. and you'll see that it will perfectly glide and I will be able to cut my banner. They look super pretty, super cute and you can use these banners in multiple projects. They're very good for baby books and very good if you want to make bunting on top of a cake which I will show in one of the videos um, in the upcoming months. The corner rounder punch again is of super good quality and it's very easy to use. The best thing about it is that it has different different sizes. Uh, I made this envelope base using my envelope punch board and today using the banner punch I will be decorating a top of an envelope which further I will be putting some money in and gifting it to my mailman. I always de-stress the edges so that everything blends properly and my entire project has a depth inside it and using a simple school glue I am going to put together this envelope. The next step would be making some banners and for this I am using the dots and stripe paper pad from Dress My Craft and the envelope base was also made using the particular paper pad which is called dots and stripe. Each and every product will be listed down below. I am taking a one and a half inch by three inches of uh, paper. Um, the innermost punch guide will be the perfect size for one and a half inch and I am going to be inserting my sheets and punching it all around. So I am left out with this particular punch. Uh, punch out which is again a very beautiful shape and I definitely can use it so I'll be using that sheet of paper too besides these fully finished banners I go by de-stressing all the edges before I start putting my envelope together I'm using a paper texture paste and this beautiful stencil by dress my craft and using the paper texture paste uh, I will be applying it all over my stencil and once I reveal it the, a beautiful texture once I remove it a beautiful texture would be revealed. Before starting on anything I will be covering my entire envelope base with some clear gesso so that when I apply colors they don't bleed through the paper. Now I'm using some acrylic paint and this is by Prima and they are called metallics and using a simple round brush and a lot of water I will be adding colors to the texture paste uh, so you'll see the beautiful pattern of stencil is now revealed properly uh, I really like this stencil uh, beautiful distressed squares and it is perfect for the theme of envelope which I'm making because everything is going to be very geometric as we are using very geometric shapes. The next step which I am going to do is de-stress the edges of my banner and using a scrapper tool and some distress ink I'm going to do that mm -hmm. 
now let's do some stamping for this i will be using mudra stamps and you can find them in crafters corner store and using the beautiful stamping block by dress my craft i am going to be applying my stamp this particular block is really good because it helps me in applying the proper pressure as well as uh, there is a center mark inside uh, with all the lines so you'll always get get straight images images stamped now comes my favorite part which is basically making the composition i'm using random die cuts from my stash some flowers and some bushes and the background to make it very busy I generally use a lot of foliage whenever I make my creations. I feel that leaves they enlighten the entire project. And remember that small banner which we were left with. I cut out these small triangles and I added them as arrows in my envelope. And I'm finishing up with some more die cuts and some more de-stressing. Now let's stop it out with a sentiment which is again from Dress My Craft floral symphony collection and once i'm done with that i will be applying some more texture using the micro beads and glitter using soft matte gel and a paintbrush i'm going to dab gel at different different places in my envelope but in a very balanced manner so basically i'm dabbing the soft gel such that i can add micro beads on it now I will be adding some micro beads on the top of the soft gel areas and removing the any excess off into my uh, very cute catchy tray. I don't I'm forgetting the name of the tray, but I think it's called embossing tray. And this was bought years back from Shalini uh, from Crafters Corner, probably 2009 or 10. So yeah, some tools they remain with us forever and. Now once I add micro beads, I realized there's a lot of space left and I decided to add this green moss which will add, uh, which always adds a lot of definition and a lot of beauty to my projects. I decided to color my flowers with some glitter. So again I'm adding some soft matte gel on my flowers and using the beautiful glitter by dress my craft the sparkly glitter i'm going to add it all over my flowers and then remove the excess by dabbing it onto my tray now i will add some sequins to finish my project and again these are by dress my craft and you should totally check it out all the products will be listed down below in the links so that's it guys this is how i have completed my project there are still pictures in the end and all the products are given below in the description box as well as on the blog i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope you'll have a great day bye